Hey guys, Kim from Banner Screen Printing. Today we're going to go over and show you guys what a flattening screen is. And if you guys don't know, that's what kind of it is, but we're going to go in depth. So let's get going after we roll that intro. All right, guys, um, so today we're gonna go over what a flattening screen is and what we use it for. Um, we were doing a printing um, a video and showing you guys, you know, one of our vlogs, and we had this uh, exact screen up, and we were printing uh, black shirts with white ink, and then we would come down and use this, which it has pink ink in it. Um, kind of can see it right there in the back. Um, and one of the comments that we got was, you know, we see you using pink, but we didn't see anything come across uh, when you were, you know, pressing the ink through. And today we're going to show you exactly what we use it for. And um, we're going to be printing a three color design, one of our Warpig apparel designs that we, um, we sell a lot of. Um, and then also I wanted to say, you know, one of the reasons why we haven't uploaded any videos lately is... Um, the Marine Corps had an accident um, off of Sacramento. They had an AAV go down, and that's um, a type of equipment that goes on land and in water. Um, unfortunately, this accident, we lost some um, Marines and one Navy um, guy uh, that was in this uh, craft. Now, there was some Marines that survived, but some, um, unfortunately, did not make it. And um, the saddening thing was is this was the unit I was part of. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps. So I reached out to the chain of command and said, we want to do something. And so what we came up with is we came up with a design and we put the memorial shirts on our website of War Pig Apparel. And we got everything approved through the chain of command. And what we did was, is we sell the shirts for $25. They're actually still on the website. We're going to probably, um, um, probably take them down at the end of August. Okay. So if, depending on when you guys see this, um, if it's already past August of 2020, um, the, the shirts are no longer going to be on there. But what we're going to do is the proceeds from this shirt, we're actually going to be donating back to the unit. Um, we're doing a memorial bench. We're going to do some plaques. And then also one of the mothers of one of the fallen brothers of ours, um, they had a GoFundMe. And what she actually claimed was she, she didn't want no funds from this. And what she wanted to do was all the funds... She wanted to donate to the Marine Corps ball. Now, this was uh, what her son would have wished upon. So we're also going to team up with that, and we're going to donate the rest of the funds that we have left over for the Marine Corps ball. Now, if you guys don't know what the Marine Corps ball is, this is the Marine Corps ball where um, this is the Marine Corps' birthday every November 10th or around that date. All the Marines from the unit gets together and have a big party, okay? So this is something that we honor very cherished to our hearts as Marines. So this is what her son's wish was. So this is what we're going to do is we're going to help that as well. And the reason why we're donating the funds to this unit um, in that particular way is we can't donate directly to the families. The Marine Corps is going to take care of these families. We went through all the proper channels and figured out what and what we cannot do um, to, to, for the families. So this is what we're going to do. So after that being said, let's get in and show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be doing um, the three color job. We already had it set up and we already have everything registered and good to go. And I just now thought about, hey, let's show everybody what the flattening screen is. So we're going to have our white, we're going to do a flattening, and then we're going to do our next colors. Now pay attention how normally we, um, when we print, we normally uh, go directly under the flash and then when time comes back around, it's actually been cooled. When you're using a flattening screen, this is not what you're going to be doing. You're actually going to be sending it away from the, the flash dryer. And after you send it away, you're actually, um, when you go to get your next pre, uh, your, you know, your shirt that you're gonna be printing on, um, you're gonna be using a flattening. So it's gonna come directly from the flash to you. So it's gonna be really warm. Okay, and what you want to do and the reason why you want it warm is you want that ink to be pretty warm where it, it's just not cured, but it, it's warm to the touch 
um, where you can kind of flatten it. Okay, this is where the flattening comes in. So you're gonna take that and you're gonna flatten that into the, the fibers even more. And when you flatten it in even more into the fibers, you get that nice fill of softness, okay? Um, now you can do this after all the colors or what I prefer is the white. Why? The white is the hardest to print and it also has the roughest to print, right? Or feel, right? So we're going to do the white and then do our red and blue, okay? So let's get going and show you guys how to do that. All right, so we got the flash on, we got the, the conveyor dryer on, and we got the screen set up, we got the shirts out. Another thing that you guys are going to want, um, it's kind of funny, okay? So the flattening screen, right? How you do the flattening screen is you coat it with your emotion, okay? And then instead of when you burn a design or an image into it, what you're actually gonna do is once you coat it, just set it out in the sun. Let it, let the sun burn the, the screen. Let the emotion get hard, right? You do not want any design on this, okay? It's just a motion screen, burnt. Just, it, it, there's no design, okay? Now, once you have that and you got your ink set up, now remember, you do want to put your ink, um, any color ink. You don't want to use, you know, I've seen people use oil, all that. Just use an ink that's liquid, you know, easy to use, um, not white, but, um, you know, for instance, we got like five gallons of neon red. I will never use that much, okay? I got it when I bought the press. Now, once you got the ink in there, you're going to want to get a, some um, 945 silicone spray, okay? Now, they should sell this at your local um, screen printing supply warehouse, okay? And all you're going to do is just spray it. Spray the bottom. Okay? Just spray the bottom. And once you do that, you're going to come through. And you're going to rub it. You're going to rub the bottom. Make sure that everything's, you know, on there and, and rubbed in. So, and what that prevents is the ink, because it's warm, from sticking to your screen. Okay? Let's get started and show you guys how to do this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our first color. Flood your screen. So I've been using these, uh, the EG squeegee, um, and it makes it a lot easier to do your pulling technique. Um, at least I found. So that's what you have, right? You have your white design. Now, again, I'm not going to push it towards the, the flash dryer. I'm just going to push it away. All right. And I'm going to set up my next one. All right. You want to make sure your your uh, for doing three colors, you want to make sure that your your pellet is, um, you know, has a tack on it. If not, you can put the water base blue or they make the fast track. OK, the fast track 784. Now this is a water-based um, tack, and all you do is just spray a little bit on there, okay? Grab your next shirt. This is a back design, so we're gonna load the, the next uh, shirt on, okay? Now this is very simple to do guys and this makes your uh, makes your designs feel really 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 soft and now if you have a automatic press uh, a lot of times automatic presses they, they can set this up and there ain't no extra step but for us on manuals it's an extra step for us um, and you can definitely charge extra again we're going to push that away Let's go to the next, uh, now that's already a little bit tacky, but I'm going to put a little bit more down, okay? Okay. Get the other platen out of, uh, under the flash. It's nice and toasty, so I don't want it. Cooking the next, uh, platen. All right. 
load this on like we normally would. So what I was saying is when you guys do this for customers, you can definitely charge extra. Show them, you know, have, you know, a shirt that you use this on so you can, you know, show the customers if you allow them in your your business. Um, and you'll definitely feel the difference. Another good uh, way you can do this is um, use a heat press right afterwards. Um, as soon as you cure the, the shirt and everything, you can use a heat press. Um, don't leave it under too long. And if it's really fine detail, I probably wouldn't do it. Again, we're gonna push that under, okay? Now, I'm gonna hold off on pushing that all the way over. Um, reason why is that next shirt, or the next flat, flatten, actually has our shirt on it, okay? Um, so yeah, you know, you can use a heat, a heat press for, you know, doing this method. Um, it'll make it nice, smooth. Um, it won't feel like a, it will not feel like a screen printed shirt. Um, so, you know, when I first started in screen printing, that's actually something what I used to do because how I cured my shirts, believe it or not, was with a, um, a heat press. So you can cure your shirts that way too if you don't have you know a flash dryer or a conveyor dryer so right now i have that that other um i have that other uh shirt under the flash dryer right now okay so right now it's getting nice and toasty if you guys can see this uh white ink i have is really liquidy this is not water based this is um from international coatings it's 12 hp white i love it okay so now this ink is pretty warm. I'm gonna leave it under there a little bit longer. I want it to get nice and toasty, okay? Now I'm gonna move over to my flattening screen. As you guys can see, it has yellow, all right? Or not yellow, um, this neon pinkish color, okay? And I just, you know, flood the screen like I was gonna print. But I'm not gonna print anything, okay? I'm just gonna flatten the white down, okay? Now we're using this 12 HP white so liquidy that when you actually throw this through the dryer it's really soft already um so let's sorry let's bring this around now this just came from the, the the flash dryer okay and all you're gonna do is take it and you can push you can pull you know however it doesn't matter um i i normally do a push because i'm gonna put my pressure down you know push my pressure all the way down and and I want to make sure I, I'm flattening that down, okay? That's, that's what I want to do. So now, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay? Again, that just came from the flash. It's nice and warm. I'm going to push down. And like I said, you can, you can pull, but you want that pressure. You want to push that and mat that those fibers down. And now, if you were to make this, you know, this design's only a one-hit white, so it's like that off-white grayish color. If you're going to do a second color or a second white, right, to uh, make it pop, oh, I'll tell you what, you won't get any um, defibrillation from the the, the shirt. Um, the white will just feel really smooth. It'll, it'll feel really awesome. So, as you can see, this is the last one, okay? Just came from the flash, nice and hot. We're just gonna press down. We're just pushing that ink all the way down. Make sure the fibers are matted down, okay? Now, Normally what I would start to do is uh, do my other colors and stuff. So this is my red. I love this design. You'll see when you get when I get done, but so you can kind of see that a little bit. Okay. 
And a good thing is if you're going away from your flash dryer and then your last shirt is under the flash dryer, um, all that ink is going to be already warm and you're going to mat it down even more when you're doing your second, third color. So, get this down. And again, this uh, red, there's no white underbase on this. This one is a considered a, a scarlet red. And this is a 3001 Bella Canvas, the unisex. I love this shirt. This is what I use on all my apparel. And you can just see that red just popping out. All right, so this is back. It's a dark red, you know, makes the, the American flag look distressed. And this is what it's going for. Okay, we're going to go with our next color, which is blue for the American flag. Now, I'm using kind of like a an off blue, like a more like a sky blue. This is a custom color I, I, I made. The reason why I do that is... If you use like a harbor blue or um, a B blue, uh, a blue B or A, this looks really weird on because I don't have a white underbase. Now, should I have a white underbase? Yeah, I could. But remember, I don't want to don't want to have the stuff be that vibrant because of this design. It's supposed to be a rustic look a little bit. All right, last shirt. And I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a second. All right, so that's how we do that. Um, let's show you guys what it turned out to look like. Again, I, I personally just love, 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 love this design. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. The white, the blue. So this design says, the Lord said, let there be Marines and the devil ran in fear. Fits my uh, Marine Corps mentality, right? But look at that, that's, and this is the same design that we actually did um, to show you the half tones. So here you guys go. Look at that. So we're going to take this off and uh, throw that on the dryer and uh, we'll throw the next ones on the dryer. So that's gonna be it. That's um, what the flattening screen's all about. It works very, very, very well. If you have that really thick white and you're doing a double hit white to make a white very vibrant. Um, and it just, like I said, it matches all those color or, you know, all the fibers down and you won't get any div uh, defibrillation on the, the ink look like how the, the, the fibers are coming out. It uh, helps out very, very well. If you guys have any questions about this, please comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We're growing. We're going to start producing more videos. Um, again, we're, you know, reason why we haven't dropped any new videos lately, um, you know, for our Marine Brothers from 1-4 Battalion, um, you know, Bravo Company. I want to thank everybody that has ordered. If, if you haven't, please get to the, the website, warpickapparel.com. Um, we're, you know, we're raising funds, like I said in the very beginning of the video. Right now, we're over almost to 11, 1200 shirts, okay? And then we're also, what I didn't mention, is we're also gonna donate a shirt for everybody in the battalion, all right? That's about 1400 Marines. So overall, we're, we have over 2000 shirts that we have to print. So again, if you have an order, go order, all right? This is definitely a great cause. And, um, and we'll show maybe a video of uh, what was donated after the finals is done and everything. Um, very touchy situation with that though. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you can like it, like it. Also share the heck out of this video. Let's try to raise awareness for everybody in the screen printing industry. There's a lot of people that don't want to show what, how to screen print and everything. 
we're here to help you guys grow and we want everybody in the family of screen printing to you know mesh together let's become one we're stronger that way we you know if we're one and we can you know determine the prices and and not try to gouge each other's eyes and for you know prices and making them really low because when you make the prices really low we all hurt okay not just one screen printer but we all will hurt so again please like please share please subscribe if you haven't subscribed until next time be safe and let's have fun